Hello, how are you? My name is Aisha, and today I would like to speak to you guys about America and is it a God fearing country? I don't think America is a God fearing country. Um, I don't think that America holds God close to its heart or anything. I think that America has upheld Jesus Christ as higher than God and upheld Jesus to make themselves feel good. Um, I have no problems with Jesus. I just have a problem with America using the created to make themselves feel better every single time they do horrible things. Um, we know that by now you should know that God, Yahweh, Yahweh, the Elohim of Israel, you can go on and on. You should know that he is the creator by now. You should know that he created Jesus. And not only should you be worshiping and praising the Father, the I am, the beginning and the end, not only should did the first testament of the Bible, the Old Testament of the Bible tell you that time and time again, but Jesus came in, the Christ in the New Testament, and also told you that you should not be serving me, you should be serving my father. So that's where it gets twisted. America likes to do its dirty deeds, hang people, kill people, firebomb people, um, separate families, intern people. And then they say that we're God-fearing country and we love Jesus Christ. Well, we all know Jesus Christ is their cop-out because they like to think, well, Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. So we can just do whatever we like to do. And we can just go to church on Sunday and he will wash our sins away. That's why he died for us. That's why we carry the cross. Well, first of all, let me stop you there because Jesus did not die on a cross. <laughs> I've told you this before in another video. Not that I talk about God and spirituality too much on my channel, but since we're getting into it now, I did in fact say this on another video. Jesus was hung from a tree. Acts 5, 31, he talks about it. So um, how did we get to this point where we just took white Jesus he told us we could do whatever the hell we wanted to do and we could just go and pray to him on a Sunday. How do we get to a point where we could just do evil, evil, demonic acts and still call ourselves Christians? I don't call myself a Christian, but people call themselves Christian. By the way, if I bring up any um, verse, I will put it in the description so you don't think that I'm lying. But yes, Jesus was hung from a tree kind of like how they used to hang us from trees um so my my thing with the whole jesus thing is that these people these quote unquote americans you know the brave patriotic americans have placed jesus up on this pedestal above god so basically they could do whatever they want he died on the cross for us to do whatever they want. We can lynch people after church and, you know, he died for our sins so we can do whatever they want. But most of us, well, not most of us, most of them forget about the creator. They forget about the Old Testament or maybe they just don't crack open the Old Testament. Well, I read the Old Testament and the Old Testament talks about keeping his commandments all the time. Keep my commandments or I'll destroy you, period. See, they don't like to talk about the true and living God because when you start talking about the creator, the one that breathes life into you, then you have a whole 
another set of rules, a, a whole a whole set of rules that Jesus Christ does not give you. See, God makes you take accountability. <laughs> when you read the Old Testament, it's talking about you taking accountability, you reaping what you sow. But when you get to the New Testament, no disrespect to the New Testament, you get Jesus and you get the twisted words of these Christians, these psychopathic Christians that do horrible things like let cops kill everybody and cheer for them, you know, that pray for murderers, that all these Christians give what, who, Kyle Rittenhouse millions of dollars. Do you think that's very Christ-like? Is that godly? I mean, it's Christ-like according to them and their paganism, but it's not really godlike. See, if you feared God in America, you would you wouldn't you wouldn't fund a murderer. You would have a just system. You wouldn't shoot anybody in the back while they're running away, maybe fearing for their lives, and they would have their day in court. We would live in a just and righteous society. That means a just and righteous society would ask you, why did you shoot that man in the back five times? They wouldn't say, what did he do? So that's how you know we don't live in a just or righteous society. See, if you live in a just or righteous society, you would not put young people or little kids in cages. You would not detain them because they walked over an imaginary line. But Christianity tells you that you can do whatever you want all week and you can pray about it on Sunday. Very, very crazy. So let's talk about Jesus a little bit more. Let's talk about how they turn Jesus into a pale individual with long brown hair and blue eyes. So if you truly believe in the Bible, you would believe that God told you you should not make graven images of what is in heaven or what is on earth. So I will read that verse to you. This is from Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 8. Thou shalt not make thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters beneath the earth. So God's telling you right there. Don't make images of anything that's in my heavens or on my earth. But when you walk into what? Christian churches, uh, Catholic churches, graven images everywhere. How is this a guy, godly country? This is a Christ country, I believe, but this is not a godly country. We're not, we're not dealing with their creator. We're dealing with their created in their own image. So basically take the cross off because Jesus didn't die on a cross. We've already spoke about that. And stop making false images of Jesus Christ to make yourselves feel good and to make yourselves feel like gods because it's wrong. You're disrespecting God, yet you're a Christian country, but you're not a Christian country at all. Christian countries do what's right. Christian countries hold people accountable, hold cops accountable when they shoot somebody in the back. Christian countries don't have slavery, but that's how we know that, I mean, I guess you are a Christian country and not a godly country. You know you want nothing to do with God because with God, you have to take accountability, right? So this is just kind of, this is, I know I don't do videos like this, but I'm just kind of tired of people bringing up Christ and God and making themselves feel good when they do vile, disgusting things, all while holding Bibles upside down, Donald Trump. Talking in front of churches, Donald Trump. You're he's the biggest devil ever, and that's what that's what, who you guys uphold. That should tell you again that we're not a godly country. So I guess we will call this a Christian country, but we won't call this a godly country because they don't follow the rules of God. They follow the rules of their Jesus that they made up in their own image, 
even though God said, do not make graven images of what's in my world, basically. So you played yourselves. Um, I actually made another video about this and the last five minutes got cut off. So I'm trying to make this video again and I'm basically leaving a lot of things out. But I will leave that Acts verse about God or not God because Jesus is not God. He is the created. He is the son of man um, being in fact being hung from a tree. Um, actually, let me just show it to you guys. I know I'm all over the place, but these people are all over the place with their lies as well. So. So here goes the verse. Acts 5.30, sorry. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. So there you go with the crosses. Graven images, all that stuff is basically disrespect to God. So I'll make another video about this because I've lost some of my information from trying to make this video twice. I thank you for listening. Bye.